Hey everybody, this is example number two for structural dynamics and in this we're covering the response to harmonic excitations. The problem statement that we have is an undamped system is harmonically forced which leads to a beating condition. Based on the following parameters, uh, the natural frequency of the system is 1500 cycles per minute. The excitation frequency, meaning the frequency of the harmonic force, is equal to 1,475 cycles per minute. The weight of the system is equal to 10,000 pounds. And the amplitude of the steady state force, meaning the amplitude of the harmonic force, is equal to 5,000 pounds. Based on this information, we need to determine the, beating, the beat period of the resulting motion, the number of oscillations within each beat, and the maximum amplitude of the oscillations. Before we proceed to the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. And whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. So here's their website. It's Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now coming back to our structural dynamics problem, the first thing we're going to do is convert the circular natural frequency. Is gonna, we're going to convert the frequency, the natural frequency of the system from cycles per minute to radians per second. So lowercase omega, this is how, what we call the circular natural frequency, is equal to 2 pi times the number of cycles per minute n divided by 60 uh, 60, we divide it by 60 because there are 60 seconds per minute. 60 seconds per minute. So we have 2 pi times 1500 cycles per minute divided by 60 seconds per minute. And the natural, the circular natural frequency is equal to 157.08 radians per second. The next step is to do the same thing with the excitation frequency. Convert the excitation frequency, uh, which is a frequency of the forcing function, harmonic forcing function, from cycles per minute to radians per second. And we uh, do the same approach. We call this capital omega equals 2 pi times n, the number of cycles per minute, divided by 60. So it's 2 pi times 1,475 divided by 60. And the excitation frequency comes out to be 154.46 radians per second. After this, we're going to calculate a value called uh, epsilon. And epsilon we define as lowercase omega minus capital omega divided by 2. So the frequency of the system minus the circular natural frequency of the excite excitation of the exciting uh, force, the exciting circular natural frequency divided by 2. And this is epsilon is 1.31 radians per second. Once we have ep epsilon, we can calculate the beat period. And the beat period is equal to 2 pi divided by epsilon. So 2 pi divided by 1.31, and that comes out to be 4.8 seconds. This is our beating period. Next, we're going to calculate the number of oscillations within each beat. And that is equal to 2 pi divided by epsilon divided by 2 pi divided by capital omega. So the 2 pi's cancel out, and this leaves us, this leaves us with capital omega, which is the excitation frequency, divided by epsilon, and that's 154.46 divided by 1.31, and so the number of oscillations within each beat is equal to 117.91. Now we're going to calculate the stiffness, and the stiffness is equal to the mass of the system uh, multiplied by the circular natural frequency of the system squared. So the mass is equal to uh, the weight divided by g, gravitational acceleration. So here, 10,000 pounds is our weight, and our gravitational acceleration 
is 386.4 uh, inches per second squared. And then our circular natural frequency of the system is equal to 157.08 squared. So our stiffness is equal to 6, 638,564.35 pounds per inch. Once we have the stiffness, now we can calculate the maximum amplitude of the oscillations. And this is going to be equal to this XO, uh, XO times, uh, times capital omega, the excitation frequency, divided by 2 times epsilon. So this XO is equal to the amplitude of the forcing function, the amplitude of the steady state force, or the amplitude of the harmonic force, divided by the stiffness. And then we have the excitation frequency divided by 2 times epsilon. So we just plug in the numbers, 5,000 uh, divided by 638,564.35 times 154.46 divided by 2 times 1.31. So the maximum amplitude of oscillation is equal to 0 0.462 inches. And this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash engineering examples. And also, uh, please visit the website and sign up for our email list where you can stay up to date on the latest engineering content that we're producing at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.